In this video, we're going to talk about GPT-40 Mini, a new large language model released by OpenAI. This is their answer to what Llama 3 is doing. Essentially, Llama 3 is supposed to be open source and it's cheap and super nice. But GPT-40 Mini is like, hey, you know what? We can do better. Now, what is this video going to be about? We're going to talk about GPT-4 Omni Mini, what it is, and is this the end of open source? We're going to look at the performance, look up how they're stacking up to open source. We're going to quickly go through some code on how to actually use it. And we're going to look into cost per token and some limitations about it. And also discuss about whether or not you should actually use it in your project. So let's get on with it. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLM's machine learning and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. So as mentioned, GPT-4 Omni Mini is a new language model. They're calling it a small model with superior textual intelligence and multimodal reasoning. And although they're saying small model, I'm pretty sure it's a multi-billion parameter model, but they're calling it small relative to the offerings that they provide. And they are quite bullish about reasoning tasks, math and coding proficiency, and multimodal reasoning to be extremely good. And which does actually make sense when you look at the benchmarks over here. We have the MMLU, GPQA, and many other math, and many other benchmarks over here. And so far, it's been stacking up pretty close to GPT-4 O over here, which is the pink one. And for example, on MMLU, we're getting 82 over here. And on the GPT-4 Omni, we're getting 88, or almost 89. And when you compare that to Llama 3, we're actually getting a pretty solid increase in performance. And that is something I want to highlight, is the fact that how they're answering the open source world. Although Llama 3 is extremely trendy right now, but does it actually perform equally as good as to these commercialized GPT-4 models? And the best part about this is that when you look at the pricing over here, it's actually quite, or it's supposed to be much, much cheaper compared to Llama 3s and others. And I'm gonna break down the cost for Llama 3 and how it performs against this one. But before that, let's actually look into some code. So over here, we have the code over here. So I'm not gonna run through and write everything from scratch, but essentially you install some packages. Once you do that, you initialize the OpenAI API, you define some messages, and then you send a message to the client with GPT-4 Omni Mini, and then you get a response. So over here, I've written two system prompts over here. I could technically take away one of those, and then you pass in, can you tell me about the capital of Sweden? Sweden is a country where I'm from right now, and there you go. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm. What about France? The capital of France is Paris. And that's a quick way to use GPT-4 Omni. Very, very simple. Now, we've gone through the code walkthrough, look at some performance. Let's talk about the cost per token. So GPT-4 Omni has a 15 cents per 100, 1 million input token and 60 cents for 1 million output token, which is roughly around a book. However, they have limitations when it comes to the context window. So right now, the model has around 128,000 context window, and I believe they're soon going to roll out bigger context in the future, hopefully. But for the moment, it's 0 0.15 cents per 1 million token input and output around 0 0.60. Now, one thing that I found to be quite interesting is that once one time query to the model, you're only limited to around 60,000 tokens. And no, because I've actually tested the model and this is one of the limitations that I found. And there's probably other limitations to this model as well, but this is what I found right now. Now, comparing that to Llama 3. Now, the reason why this is so interesting is not because of some crazy benchmark over here, but the fact that it's a big, bold kick in the face to the open source world because not only is it outperforming Llama 3, but also it's doing in a very, very cheap, cheap manner. Now, if you guys didn't know, people like me and probably many others like me, who don't have access to super crazy, hyper performant GPU systems. We're just running it from some API and hoping to God it works. And if you, if you compare the MMLU to Llama 3, which is posted on their website, you get around 82 with the Llama 3 70 billion. And over here, you're getting around 82 with a 15 cent model, which is much, much cheaper. And most computers cannot even run a 70 billion model. Now, while recording this video, they've also released the Llama 3.1 models. And we actually see that the MMLU for Llama 3.1, 8 billion, you're getting 67, 66.7, which is exactly the same as the previous one. 70 billion, you're getting around 80% over here. Again, it's close to GPT-4 Omni Mini, but again, when you think about it, if you were to deploy a Llama 3 model, a 70 billion Llama 3 model, you will need around one 8 gigabyte A100 GPU. 
And to do that, you have to pay around 20,000 or upwards to deploy that model. And the reason or the calculation that I did was get the cost per hour for different GPUs from different vendors, and we get the engineering cost times it by hours running and the hours for the engineers, and you get around $20,000 for the cost of the GPU. Now, $20,000 per month compared to 0.15 cents per 1 million token, that's a really big difference. This is a price that no open source models right now can defeat. Now, if you break down GPT-40 mini pricing compared to GPT-40, so for traditional GPT-40, we get $5 per 1 million input token, around $2.50 for 1 million or $15 for 1 million output token, which is extremely expensive when you think about it. But that is a massive decrease in price considering how performant it is relative to GPT-40. I mean, it is almost head to head in many of these use cases. Not only that, if you compare that to, let's say, a Grok deployment strategy. So Grok is a way to deploy models, open source models like Llama 370 billion or 405 billion, which just got released. So you're almost paying a dollar or actually $0.60 per 1 million token input and output, and almost a dollar for output token, actually, sorry about that. So compared to these prices over here, you're getting a substantially cheaper model for the performance you're getting. So really, it's a no-brainer if you are using a AI application. So we've talked about performance, code walkthrough, cost per token, but also should you use it? In my opinion, you should absolutely use it. If, you're, if you have an application that you're prototyping, or just serving it to a small number of customers, you should absolutely use this. And currently, they don't support fine-tuning the model right now, but soon you will be able to do it. All right, guys, there's a quick video on OpenAI's answers to Llama 3, Llama 3.1, and open source models. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video.